Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to this new video. This time I want to talk to you about verifying file integrity by using hashing algorithms. And um, I have this nice tool that I downloaded from the web. And it is simply a hashing calculator. As you could see here, there are different hashing protocols. You see MD5, MD4, SHA-1, so on and so forth. And what I like about this tool is that you have many of the most common protocols in one location instead of verifying each protocol at a time if you want to do that. Now, hashing has been around since, since forever, actually. And one of its main functions is for integrity of the data or integrity of in Windows systems and in many systems of the passwords, right? But you can also use it to verify the integrity of any file. What do I mean by that? So let's say that we have a file here. Uh, you know, this file, this is private. And let's call it a contract or anything else or an executable, anything you want to verify the integrity of. So what you can do, you open up the app, uh, you look for that, search for that, and this is my file. And when you click on calculate, that is going to generate a, um, a hash sum for that file. And in this case, it is for SHA-256, or you could do one for SHA-512, right? So you have this information. So how do you use it? Um, well, in this case, what's going to happen is this. If this document is modified in any way, this hash function, once calculated, is going to be different than the original. So let me just uh, copy this right here real quick to a new file. So I'll show you. Uh, Right, so let me come here. This is 256, and this is um, 512. Right, so um, if I make a change to the file, let me uh, actually let me just do this. This is not private or anything else, right? Even one character will change the integrity. So I'm just going to save, close, and I run the same calculation on that document. You'll see that the hash sum changed. So this is for 256. Right? As you could see, it's different. So that's one of the ways you could use this, right, to verify integrity. Now, keep in mind that if that file is open, it's not going to change the hash because there's no modification. If you copy something or if you copy the file, Oh, let me just close this to a new file. Right? That is not going to change the integrity of the file. So you could use that if you want to upload or post um, files on your website and then you would like to make sure that you also post the hash sum of the file so that when people download it, they'll verify the hash to make sure that the file has not been modified. So that is what you find in different places. For instance, when you go to uh, Kali.org, if you want to download Kali Linux, you'll notice that when you come here, you can check the uh, 
hash sum for that file. So when you download the file, you can run the application to verify the, uh, the hash. If it is different, it means that that file that you downloaded is not the same file that they posted originally or they haven't updated this right here. So that is a way for you to verify the integrity of files. Um, you know, let's say that you, ha you have a contract or you have a password file on your computer. Why would you have a password file? That's beyond me. But I've been in, in this business for a very long time, so I've seen many things. Um, so protect the integrity of the file by creating a hash. Always remember, th hashing is not going to do encryption. It's not going to protect your files against changes, but it's going to protect the integrity by showing you the original state of the file so that you can compare that in the future. That's how one, one of the many ways that you could use hashing as a best practice in your uh, network, in your organization. As always, if you liked this video, click on the like button and subscribe to my channel so you'll be notified of new videos in the future. Have a great day. Bye.